Yo, there's this crazy story where this chick gets caught cheating on her husband by some dudes who think it's a good idea to drag her out of bed and bring her to church of all places and say to the teacher, we should kill her. And it's in the Bible. And I'm about to talk about it on Facebook Live in a few minutes. People want to be light-skinned so bad that they put an actual lights on their skin. Hey, we all just chocolate, though. I'm milk chocolate. Some people dark chocolate. Some people white chocolate. Embrace your flavor, though, because we all just chocolate, right? Hey, what's up, y'all? All right, good talk. Hey, what's up, y'all? All right, good talk. Hey, bro, I'm about to make some quesadillas. You want a quesadilla? Yeah, bro, I want a quesadilla. All right, bro, I'm gonna get you a quesadilla. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. Fold. Fold. Rise. This dog said, forget y'all, I am walking myself. Y'all are too slow. I have my own things to do. I have my whole life ahead of me. I gotta find a job. I gotta have kids. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Who does, who does this, yo? Who does this? They didn't even take one of the bars, they broke it in half. What's that song by Jay Z that goes? I don't know how I was able to keep a straight face for that long. <laughs> I found it. So the other day I was making a smoothie and I already had finished putting all the fruits and other ingredients in it. And I was like, you know what? This still needs, it needs some chia seeds because chia seeds are good for you. So I went in the fridge and I grabbed this bag and I was like, all right, cool. And I poured the contents of the bag into the smoothie. And then I went and I was putting it back into the fridge and then I noticed something. <laughs> I put quinoa in the smoothie. Quinoa. <laughs> It was raw. It turned out it wasn't that bad. It just added some texture, but I thought that was hilarious. So I just wanted to share with y'all. So, <laughs> there you go. 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 That's as far as it zooms. Hey, man, I hope everybody had a great weekend. It's Monday. People starting up school again. I hope everybody has a great week, except, <laughs> except for the people who do the speed limit in the passing lane on the highway. Y'all can step on a broken Lego. I don't care, okay? Hello, fools. I just made some dope t-shirts that you can buy. Look what we got. Freaking up. Uh, Water Malone, Resusle Puffers. We got pronouncing things incorrectly in black and white. And the water is not wet t-shirts. Go get them. So this is how you eat when you ain't trying to do no more dishes. Because they finished. Plastic fork. Foil for the plate. What you talking about? I don't know how to finish this. Ah! Hey, man. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the anxiety conscious cashiers out there that be handing you your receipt and your change separately. Because you know how stressful it be when you're trying to grab your food. 
put your change in your wallet and put your receipt in your pocket while people yelling at you from behind you at the same time. I also want to give a quick shout out to the people who work at grocery stores and convenience stores monitoring the self-checkout lines that let me use their rewards cards when I don't have my own so that I be getting the discounts for the free without paying for membership. Like, that's... Also, the other dining hall lady who would give me an extra scoop of fries knowing darn well she was only supposed to give me two. Sometimes, four scoops. A double portion, can I get an amen? Also, if you want me to shout you out, I'll make a video for you, a morning motivational video, a video to get you to go work out, or a Christmas present for your friend, cause you broke and you don't have that much money. And you'd be like, hey, I don't have that much money, but this kid made a video. Hey y'all, I'm mad and I'm gonna tell you why in a second, but first I got a question. Why they call it the National Mall? I don't see no food court, no Foot Locker, no Wessels Pretzels, no Auntie Anne's. I don't see the big old nipple mansion in the back and the ding -a -ling statue sitting over there looking all tall. I ain't come here from New Jersey to see some sex symbols up on the grass. Oh! Oh snap! It's... It's SSS o'clock! What? What is that? What? Oh my gosh. This girl stays studying. Look at the... Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. yeah, flex, flex. Jose Padilla, 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 Joe's Padilla, Jose Padilla. I don't know, Jose Padilla, I guess. <laughs> Jose Padilla, yo soy. Jose Padilla. Well, after I made this video, I found out that Jose Padilla, with two L's, is a terrorist. So let's pretend I'm talking about the Brazilian Jose Padilla, the director who did the Robocop reboot in that one movie called Elite Squad. Pronouns and things incorrectly. Got my Holly Bibble. Everybody turned to Genesis. What about Leviticus? Galadions, maybe Philippi Anus. Deuteronomy, Ecclesia Testes. Ho, see? Philemon, I choose you. Pronouns and things incorrectly. Got my Holly Bibble. Everybody turned to Genesis. What about Leviticus? Galadions, maybe Philippi Anus. Deuteronomy, Ecclesia Testes. Ho, see? Philemon, I choose you. You smile real quick. You. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> this is the video that's gonna end the water is wet debate once and for all. My answer: Water's not wet. And I'll tell you why. To say that something is wet means that the water on the surface of that something can be. Removed. You get caught outside in the rain. You say, oh, my hair got wet. Now I got to get it redid. Oh, my shoes got wet. Now I got to let them sit outside and dry. You don't say that the ocean gets wet. It's just water. Water is water. Fire, right? We know that it burns things, right? But it's not in and of itself burned, right? Water, it wets things, but it's not in and of itself wet, okay? The word wet is only supposed to be used when water gets on something. For example, if I were to splash water on this mirror right here, I'd say it's wet. But if it were somehow possible to splash water droplets onto water, where you could see the water droplets sitting on the water, you'd say, oh, that water is wet. You know, I'll give an example in a second, because, you know, I'm in a bathroom. It's wet. You know, I'll give an example in a second, because, you know, I'm in a bathroom. You know, we got water in the toilet, got water in the sink, shower, <laughs> sink over there. But the term wet is an adjective that is only conditional that's used to describe the surface of something that is typically dry. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the simple proof test. This counter is dry. I pour water on it. It becomes wet. Can it be dried? Absolutely. Therefore, it was wet. It is now dry. The water on the inside of the bottle, however, can it be dried? Absolutely the frick not. And in closing, the definition of wet reads covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Water cannot be covered or saturated with itself. Thank you. I just emptied my refrigerator of all items and food things disposables that have expired. And this is what's left.
We got the Milky Boys, got the La Crocs, we got the soup fetus juice, we got some sliced pickle ricks, some rent chia seeds, a loaf, we have more pickle ricks, whole pickle ricks, and some sour boys, and the sauce is all the sauce! What you doing? What you doing, Sam?